Hey there, welcome to day 8 of the 30 day video challenge. Now today's day is actually inspired by one of the video challenge members, Dan. And what happened with Dan is he had an issue with his camera. And we were kind of chatting back and forth trying to figure out solutions to this. So what that means is today's video is about finding solutions when things go wrong. Because undoubtedly things are going to go wrong. Okay, so you're gonna have to actually start to get creative when it comes to this because things aren't always gonna work out for us, no matter what we'd like to believe in me with my insanely optimistic outlook on everything. Things still go wrong, it's just part of what happens. So what do you do when things go wrong? Well, this is actually where the magic is. And if you freak out initially, that's perfectly fine. Like everyone's initial reaction is usually like freak out about something, especially when it comes to like technology things. And especially if it's something that is kind kind of essential to something you're going through. However, there's good news. <laughs> when you actually have something go wrong, it gives you the opportunity to start getting creative. And what this means is you'll probably need to pull out a piece of paper and a pen and start jotting down ideas. So when something goes wrong, you need to kind of look at it. Like there's pros and cons to everything in life. And certainly like at the beginning, it's gonna look like everything's a con. Everything's just going downhill because of something not working. The good news is when this happens, there's also a list of pros like maybe something happened and I don't know if you believe that everything happens for a reason or not or if whatever your beliefs are when things happen there are always two sides of things like there's always a pro and there's always a con and sure it's difficult to find initially but when you start to actually get out a piece of paper and write it down you can start to see like maybe something broke that you thought was the appropriate direction for what you were doing and maybe it was kind of just like a forcing you to reevaluate what you're doing or maybe it was just kind of a reminder to like take a break like maybe you've been overworking yourself for a long time maybe something just didn't feel right in your mind and this was kind of like the universe telling you like maybe you needed a break like maybe a day off or two days off or something and I know this is a 30-day video challenge that I'm running here that I'm sharing with you guys here and if you haven't joined it there's gonna be a link down below to click and join because it's a good thing to do but when this kind of stuff happens, learning to kind of go with the flow is an essential part of all aspects of our life. So the next time something does go wrong, which undoubtedly, undubitably, undoubtedly, I don't know how to pronounce it, but things are gonna go wrong. It's normal, it's human nature, it's, I mean, how the world works. But how you react to that makes an entirely different story. Like right now, you're in charge of the story that you're telling yourself, you're the, in charge of the story of your life. So when things go wrong, choose to look at it from an outsider's perspective. And when that happens, what you can do is you can adjust, you can like course correct to fix it, to improve it, to learn from it, and to ultimately like grow from it. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. There's going to be a link down below to click to subscribe. And if you haven't joined the 30 day challenge, please join. It's 30 days of one daily video every day to grow your business, grow your brand, and make you more comfortable on camera. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.